day two of being stranded. Miwako? Usami-chan, this is bad. What's up? What happened? Shinonome-senpai, she's gone. What? I only looked away for a second. What should we do, Usami-chan? What should we do? Usami-chan. How far could she be? She wasn't exactly in a state to be running any marathons. We need to find her. She might still be nearby. Let's split up and look around. Got it. Okay. I'll go check across the street. Thanks. She went off to the shopping district. Oh god damn it. Let's go to the sentinel what then. About the sentinel we saw. Maybe she went over there. Big guy did stand out. You wanna go? Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. Why here? I figured. If Senpai's trying to get to the school, she'd probably come this way. All oh, right. She wouldn't know about the messed up road. A sentinel, huh? Did you find footprints? something. Nope. Anyway, we need to find a lead. No. Wait, what? We need to explore more thoroughly. I guess I'm locked into this path then. Anything? Hate to break it to you, but I don't think she's come by here. Any more is a waste of time. Let's go back, Kisaragi. Any more is a waste... Oh, now can I go back? thinking more walking let's go kisaragi Osami. did senpai come did you see her nope there's no sign of her anywhere The kaiju. I'm gonna go check out the kaiju. <sighs> you stay here, Miwako. Never know when that second year might come back. Shinonome senpai? Hey, this thing's dangerous. You know that, right? But. Ten minutes. I'm not hanging around here any longer than that. I don't see her. No 
nothing in there. Where is she? She couldn't have gone far. Did you find footprints? <sighs> Thought I had something. Nope. No good, huh? Looks that way. All right, let's check somewhere else. So these are actually just dead ends, and we have to find something else. Then let's just try the school itself. Let's try checking the school. Senpai might have had the same thought. Let's do it. It's all the way around the bend. Miwako, wait here. Be careful. We'll be back in a jiffy. The hell? The North Building's gone. And the schoolyard's totally caved in. Construction machine? I bet that's what dug the hole. I can't, Leon. You're not unsub yet. I can't go over there yet, so. What's the point? Are they trying to make a nest or something? I'd be trying to actually terraform the planet. That might be what they're supposed to do. That thing's a construction machine for developing planets, right? Would it dig up a hole for no reason? Maybe there's something down there. Underground. Like what? More dirt? The UFO. I'm just saying. The UFO under the ground. I... I don't know why. Well, so much for this place. There's not a single person here. Let's keep looking around. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Shinonome Senpai. Hey, wait! That can't be good. It's that android from before. Is it broken? Guess there's our answer. Run! <gasps> We're surrounded! Serves you right. The fuck are you doing here, eh? Hey, uh... Thanks. Who are you? The name's Sekigahara. You're Tomi Kisaragi, right? Didn't know any of you were left. Oh! Shinonome-senpai is... Well, she was there. Dude, it was just a second ago! I guess she ran away from the androids. So Ryoko-san's here, too. Are you with Morimura? Maybe. I mean, you've got to be from the future, right? Yes. Quite a ways away. Now listen here. How do you know Kisaragi? That's... A drone. It's a probe that found you two on its patrol. 
To think you were still here. I honestly didn't expect it. So it told you about us. Sorry you got caught up in this mess. In any case, you need to go to the underground gate. I'll take you there. What about the other girl we have? All the gates above ground are locked. I've been struggling to find my way out of here. You too? We need to go underground. The primary shifter should be there. The other gates all connect to that one from afar. They're merely access points. Underground? You mean... Down there? That's where we need to go? Correct. Her story so far has just been her stuck in the past. I thought we'd get to see more of her perspective from other story moments. Both okay with that and kind of miffed by it. Thanks for the 10 bits, Tin Shrimp. You're awesome. <sighs> Somewhere near the school. A guy named Sekigahara is looking for her right now. Uh, who's that? The only other guy we've seen here besides us. Anyway, it seems like we've got a way home. It's 1985? Really? We came here to get you. You ready? So she's gonna lose her memory, right? Because in no other story is there even a remote hint that she knows about the past, future, or anything else like that. Stick with me, okay? Let's head to the school. memory stop this get him 426 your time is up is she trying to beat me down there shinonome senpai can control the androids she's being manipulated by the one in charge of them we need to go after her if she seals off the gate, it's all over. What's the report? Identified evidence of activity. A human likely utilized a crane to descend. Sounds like Ryoko-san's gone ahead. Secure the crane. Don't let her lock it up. to get down there isn't it really deep 300 meters that quadruped's got a crane equipped a crane that does sound like construction equipment we'll use it like an elevator it'll take us all the way to the bottom what about your friends on your mind 
from that guy just now. Are you sure he's safe to be around? He has a gun. Yeah. We don't have much of a choice. Let's go. Wait for us! Wait. What in the fresh hell is this? Aiken. You recognize me? Why am I here? Why are you here? Looks like you got some memories back. Do you have your pills? Not anymore. I'm all out. Hang on a little longer. We need to get back to 1985. Miura, help me out. The pills are in Sector 4. Is she okay? She will be. I was worried for a moment. But she seems to be fine for now. What happened to her? Is she ill? An incident occurred during our fight in the Sentinels. From that point on, we began having memory issues. Unfortunately, someone's been taking advantage of that. Her condition is far more serious than mine. She can't prevent it. In any case, Looks like we can travel to 1985 without issue. It'll be ready soon. Just wait here for a moment. This machine... Is Morimura using it too? She's the reason we're able to use it at all. This functionality was her handiwork. This is too much for me. You gonna be okay? I'm not good with heights. I didn't realize just how deep it was until we were right there. I thought I was going to die. Look. The same kind of gadgets we saw in that dead kaiju. They're all over the damn place. Almost like we're in the belly of the boss. Oh, don't you dare drop a hand like that. <sighs> Looks like something out of a movie set. What could this be? Yeah, but the thing right there, you can push it again, right? Sentinel number 16 went completely off the radar after that incident I mentioned. What did you do? How did you make contact? All I did was poke this thing. Can we do it again? That voice from the TV screen. Didn't it kind of sound like you? You think so? Now, did you call that person Kisaragi? Kisaragi is the control system for Sentinel number 16. Why do we have the same name? Because he is you. Rather, a different you. Huh? I get it now. 
Call me Kisaraki. It's your biometric ID. The line of communication opened due to her ID being authenticated. Give it another try. Huh? Push more buttons. If you're there, answer us. I managed to connect to the system and determine my location. If the answer is troubling... Oh? I'm... outside the world. What does that mean? This place is not recognized in any era. This is bad. I'm being denied access to all sectors. It's universal control. It just closes right away now. Worth a shot. What's this universal thing? Universal control. It's here, where the primary gate is housed. This underground mainframe monitors the world. Her location. It appears the mainframe does not want us to know. Looks that way. Gather close. Now! It's always the shrine. This is... I know this shrine. It's by the school. Sweet! You hear that, Miwako? We're almost home. Oh, shit. Uh, Miwako? We're missing Miwako. What? Wasn't she right next to you? left her behind let's go back it's no use she's not like us the people here everyone in the city we're all managed by that computer underground isn't that right Akun? Hmm. to make sure no one impacts this world to make sure no one finds out the truth Universal control pulls the strings. Behind the scenes, it handles our lives as it sees fit. It must have determined that she was an inconvenience to this world. She knew too much. But she appears in other stories, right? And oh fuck, wave 10. Damn it. I want to see more now. <laughs> yeah, the game kind of did just say that. Only Rinya Goto, as well as the Amnesia girl, Roko Shik uh, Shinonome, are the ones that we have not started on. 
And Miroka is a, a key unit in our tactical squad right now, so I might as well figure out what's going on with her and that jumble of a mess she called her head. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ida. Shinonome-kun. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Will you answer it for me? <laughs> Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. Oh, God damn it. Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious. And comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shinonome-kun. It is true you are quite exceptional, Shinonome-kun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average, and your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko Senpai? Sekigahara kun. Stop, Akun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai. That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait. I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko Senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Area B-2 
two. Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7. 23 remain in the seventh wave. Number 14 has secured a path. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonome-kun, pull back. Transmitting it to every sentinel. What's happening? Our defenses are down. Jura, fall back! Our position has become critical. in their system. transmitted number 14 has completed transmission no response from the others how did this happen the kaiju are almost here we need to go we can figure out the reason afterward i was able to access the autonomous type number eight we can buy time with that you two, head for the gate. Ida-kun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. That's immediately after? All these kids... because of him. Mr. Ida. He stayed on the battlefield to the very end. All so we could escape. This must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, one must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. There's still some ammo left. Huh? Ryo 
Oko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. So this guy would have let you know real early that he was the one that started the virus. We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it. Huh? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. <sighs> well, ain't that a bitch? I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. That really does sort of set him up as, a, as an antagonist slash villain. I love it. Sure.